Air Transat Flight 236 is now drifting without fuel over the Atlantic. Although their initial calculations show that the plane should make it to Legez, Captain Pichet must now follow standard emergency procedure for a passenger jet over water. Prepare the cabin. The cabin's slowly depressurizing. We need to put our oxygen masks on. The loss of engine power means the cabin soon depressurizes. I need your attention. We are preparing to ditch the plane. I need you to put on your life jackets right now. I kept thinking that if the plane did hit water, that we would survive. I was so convinced that we would survive no matter what happened to the plane that uh, I was probably delusional. <laughs> In my personal opinion, I don't think these airplanes would make very good boats. Typically, uh, an airplane with a low mounted tail like this, as it enters the water, one of the first things that's going to hit the water is the tail, and it's probably going to be ripped right off, and the fuselage is probably going to open right about in there. In 1996, a Boeing 767 ran out of fuel off the coast of East Africa. Its last moments were caught on amateur video, and reveal what happens when an airliner attempts a controlled landing on water. the 175 people on the Ethiopian Airways jet, only 50 survived. If Air Transat Flight 236 has to carry out a similar maneuver, it faces an equally grave outcome. With over 100 kilometers before they reach the Azores, the pilots face a long and difficult maneuver. They need to keep the plane gliding for more than 50 minutes to reach the Azores. Transat 236, heavy to Lagis Tower. Lagis Tower receiving Transat 236, heavy. Do you have us on radar, Transat 236? We have you on primary radar. Confirm you're at 80 miles out. Your heading is good. Transat 236 Heavy Lajes Tower, we are trying to make the runway. Please describe runway, heading, and length. Lajes Tower, Transat 236 Heavy. Runway is 33 and 10,865 feet long. Airport dead ahead on your present heading. Please advise when you have it in sight. Transat 236 Heavy, we cannot see the airport. We will tell you when we can. As the minutes tick by, the long wait for those on board is agonizing. I never thought I was going to die. I was in a little bit of a state of distress. I did my best not to show it, uh, to try to keep the cool calm and collected, but there was certain times where I wasn't sure if we would make it. On the ground, emergency services prepare for the crash landing of a fully loaded airliner. With 20 kilometers to go, the crew now prepare for the most dangerous part of the operation, getting their plane on the runway in one piece. Six heavy to Tower. Do you have our distance from the threshold now and weather, please? Roger, Transat 236 Heavy. You are eight miles out according to primary radar. Airspeed 280 knots according to our readings. Visibility unlimited. You should have the airport in sight. Negative, Lajes Tower. Until now, we cannot see the runway. there is no room for error. Without power, the pilots have only one chance at landing. If they miss or overshoot the runway, the results could be catastrophic. I got it. Just to the right.
Minimum rat speed is 140 knots. Maximum speed for gravity gear extension, 200 knots. I'm not lowering the gear until the last minute, okay? Okay. The crew struggled to lose height and speed for landing. Roger, Laja. Six nautical miles. Let's open the slats. It'll slow us down a bit. Slats out and locked. As they approach the runway, their speed increases dangerously. Too fast and they can roll off the end of the runway. Lower the gear. Hold on. Speed is about 200. All right. I stabilize the speed. Can you give me a landing speed, please? No engine, no flaps. Ideal approach speed is 170 knots. We're too fast. Yes. But the runway is very long. Captain Pichet now performs a difficult series of swerving maneuvers to slow the plane down for landing. The plane was circling around the island to slow down. So then we saw land and then we saw water. And when I saw water again, it really struck me that, you know, our chance for survival had maybe was gone. The runway is long. Yeah, sure, but at the end is a 400 foot cliff. If we don't stop in enough time, we're toast. We're dead. The crew line up the giant Airbus for final approach. Landing gear down and locked. Three green. No flaps. Only the emergency brakes. No spoilers, no reverse thrust. 4,000 feet, 100.